Flanders has been engaged actively within the Belgian delegation in the Commission on Sustainable Development since the Rio Earth Summit in 1992. In this fourth cycle, the five themes – waste, sustainable consumption and production, chemicals, mining and transport – are all interlinked. Joke Schouvliege, Flemish Minister of Environment, Nature and Culture, is underlining in particular the interlinkages between waste and unsustainable consumption and production patterns. The Flemish region of Belgium already performs well in collecting separately old papers, glass, garden and kitchen waste, plastic, metal and carton. But we are also champions in reducing, reusing and recycling of waste. Traditional waste management focuses mainly on the end of life phase, the phase where materials become waste. Now Flanders is switching to an integrated policy approach called sustainable materials management. The idea is to manage the material chain as a whole, with the aim of establishing clean, closed loops. We want to reduce environmental pressures and preserve resources throughout the life cycle of materials, so cradle to cradle. The shift from waste management to sustainable materials management is a key element in greening our economy. Efforts to use more sustainable materials result in ecological gains and also economic benefits. For example, increased competitiveness of the European industry, cost reductions and opportunity to tap into new markets, as well as social advantages, such as a better quality of life for all and the creation of green, sustainable jobs that will not be delocalized. Eco-innovation is crucial for a more sustainable management of materials. Eco-innovation covers all stages of the life cycle. This approach requires not only technological innovation, but also system innovation. Further research is needed to stimulate the sustainable extraction of raw materials, eco-design, eco-efficient production, sustainable consumption, and so on. We need new forms of cooperation, new business models, new ways of consuming and new governance models that allow for enhanced cooperation between industry, policymakers and consumers. Recently, Flanders developed the Equalizer. This tool allows designers and producers to calculate the environmental impact of the product they design. The Equalizer is available in English for designers all over Europe. Every year the Flanders region also grants Eco Design Awards for students and professional designers, excelling in bringing innovative, ecological cradle-to-cradle -cradle products to the market. Our aim must be the establishment of efficient material loops with a minimal consumption of resources, energy and materials. Resource and material use is clearly a global issue. We need to promote sustainable materials management at the international level. This is where the UN Commission on Sustainable Development has an important role to play. 